Okay. I have time for another video recording. The capital city has so let's become get on with it. Okay, we have some activity here. What do I feel like doing? I'll help this guy with the Illuminates. Challenging. Difficulty 5. Do the Patriot with the strafing gun, the strafing run. I might even do the other one as well, the heavy strafing. It's just too good, especially with the uh, with the virtual walls. If you have a wall that's blocking you, you can easily do a strafing run and just kill the uh, the obelisk. All right. I'm not going to summon anything because I don't need to. And I can see he's already in transit to do the escort, so I don't want to disrupt that in any way. Possible patrols on the top right. Liberty for all! Say hello to democracy! And keep moving here. I made a huge mistake by not killing that time. I did kill one of the uh, survivors, but it doesn't matter. As long as you get one in there, it's fine. Presumably, we're gonna go top right. That would be next. Reload! I have not called in anything yet. But not really. Try to get those patrols. I'm gonna call in. Equipment on its way. Set off manually. Trying to get their shields down. I forget if it's the manual nuke or if it's the shredder. But one of them doesn't kill the, the structures unless the shields are down. I haven't called anything in yet. The other guy also has an ammo backpack, so me having one would just be redundant. But we do love ammo. Or at least I do. Okay. I don't have any defenses to call in, so I'll just call in my ammo bag and then I'll just start Dropping this equipment. There's no enemies near, so I just have to be aware of snipers. I don't know their official name. Dropping equipment. Helldiver deploying to combat zone. This guy's another level 50. Reload! Dropping Standby. equipment. Equipment on its way. Broadcasting Helldiver emergency. Against the illuminance, you can imagine a one-handed weapon is not sensible. Because you cannot reach these snipers, you cannot reach the long-distance shooters. And none of the units... Actually, I'm wrong. I think one or two units, unit types, might have armor. So the um, AP ammo doesn't make sense. This is a good example here of a straight run. Kill that obelisk. Defense is going well. Reload. Kill those patrols before they can summon additional enemies. I'm gonna grab an ammo here, because we're moving on anyway, no one else is grabbing it. Okay, so extraction is close. 
guess I'll just do it since no one else is. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute. A lot of the rifles make sense against the Illuminates. Um, I've actually just started experimenting a little bit with the Liberator, so it's the very, very first weapon you have access to when you start playing the game. Only because it is an AP ammo, which is fine if you're against the Illuminates, but it also shoots very straight multiple times before the recoil kicks in. And so when you're able to shoot really nice and straight, um, it's much easier to combat the snipers. So defense here is pretty simple. We're still killing the patrols before they can summon additional units. Hold out. T this appears to be a very straightforward Dropping equipment. game here. I'm not carrying the patrols that's under him, I'm doing all the shooting for him. You can kind of see the shadows of the units. You can kind of see, like, that they're down there. You can also check your radar to see that they're down there. Pretty straightforward. Firing for effect. Over. So with the Illuminates, there's only two types of patrols. There's the sniper, sniper characters that shoot way off screen. Those don't alarm anyone. And then you have these other smaller units um, that kind of look like observers. They're the ones that do all the summoning, but they're incredibly easy to kill even in higher difficulties. In higher difficulties, they get upgraded with their own shields. Uh, but even those shields are relatively fragile. So they're, they, they're pretty easy to kill all the time. As long as you keep killing them, then they don't summon additional enemies. Helmport launch sequence initiated. Crew to stations. I repeat, crew to stations. Okay. So this is Retaliatory Strike. Uh, there's going to be not only is the uh, not only is it an arena where you are restricted in movement, but um, the very nature of the Illuminates uh, creates a restrictive environment with the virtual walls, and then um, on top of that, with the units that cause confusion, like with the uh, directional uh, pad, um, they reverse the controls on you. If you're good enough, you can actually still use stratagems while in that reverse state. Um, but it can be hard. So I did the guard dog. I have one ammo, and then I have uh, the two different types of strafing runs. Uh, again, because our movement would be restricted with the virtual walls, you want to make sure you can kill the, ob the obelisks. And a strafing run can do that. Whether it's heavy or, or just a regular, it doesn't matter. It's not good to use the incendiary stratagem, because that would limit your movement. It would be a line of fire for kind of like a long duration of time, and um, that's not something I would want. I want something very quick. That's why I took the double move. How well we do here. I'm expecting to do fine right now. The only thing that I need to pay attention to is my ammo. Because I do not have an ammo backpack. So when I get low, I will have to call it. Now you could argue right now I could take that box of ammo on the left side, but frankly. There's a chance that I could still die, so it would be at least one. I'm just going to wait until I'm relatively low on ammo before I take anything. Just to play it safe. So that's a Thunder or Barrage. That's going to limit where we can go. This guy on the left is trapped. Backpack that has the shield in front of him. Which is an item.
item that I've used occasionally. It's not terrible. It reduces incoming damage. It keeps you on your feet as long as you're facing your opponent. You can imagine that item is also very good with a one-handed weapon that so you can move quick as you are aiming and always be facing your opponent. It actually works out pretty darn good. Helldiver deploying to combat zone. Look at your character with the player coming in. Look at your character. Look at your character. There he is. Always look at your character when someone's coming in. So I'm going to take this ammo box. Someone else said they're low on ammo, too. I don't see anyone that's low on ammo, though. That fourth player is using a laser weapon, so he shouldn't need any ammo. So we're about halfway done. And it's working out pretty well.
so it looks like it's going to be pretty clean. Unless something awful happens in the next five seconds or so. I'm going to make sure that these projectiles don't reach me, so I'm going to shoot every time it releases a projectile. Okay, we're all on. That was also pretty straightforward. I think someone actually burped into their microphone. So I guess this video is pretty uneventful. Two straightforward games. But maybe, uh... Maybe there was some value in, in it after all. Maybe someone learned something from it. Who knows? Who knows, guys? Who knows? Alright, let's see how this video is made. See you guys in the next one.